I bring in uh, all the wishes and greetings from Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Uh, Anuj Ban for scoring rank number one and DM NEET SS DM Medical Group and uh, the national level exam rank number one in session NEET SS 2022. Best wishes and congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So it's great to have you here in the session and to learn from you and to listen to you. I mean. Uh, uh, where you started and how you started and now what all you have done till date. I mean, you are under graduation from post graduation and then what do you want to do in DM? So can you share your experience? Yes, sir. So, sir, I did my graduation from CGS Medical College, Mumbai, KM Hospital. I joined in 2013. I passed out in 2019 and joined Molan Azad Medical College for my MD General Medicine. And then I passed in 2022, sir, this year. And, uh, I'm aiming for DM endocrinology, sir. So DM endocrine is your aim? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. So why uh, specific interest for DM endocrinology? Uh, sir, I found that some subject interesting right from the get-go. Also, I did not want to go into a branch with emergencies or with interventions, sir. I found so, the subject interesting while I read it. Sir. Uh, basically, a little uh, cool head and a little research-oriented. <laughs> so... Now, where you uh, started, when you started your preparation on for this uh, exam? Because last year there was a change in pattern and this year the pattern is different. And when you started actually? Uh, sir, for NEET SS, sir, uh, the pattern was declared around, I think, 15th of July. So after that, I had um, seriously started preparing based on Harrison's. Before that, sir, uh, because of my MD exams, I was already reading Harrison's for my MD exit level exam. And I also given that INI SS in the July session. And that time I had read endocrinology. So that also helped me the recent. So uh, how you came across speed? Who recommended you to join uh, speed? Uh, so some of my colleagues had joined it for uh, the NI course and uh, previously my seniors also had recommended it. So I mean, what you did because the edition of Harrison changed uh, from 20th to 21st and the exam exactly. also got exactly postponed three months. Yeah. I had uh, uh, access to the new edition of Harrison's. I got the hard copy as a gift from someone. So, but it was a very daunting task for me to just go page by page. But uh, the PPTs were a, a lot of help for me, sir. I just uh, used them to guide my Harrison reading, sir. I saw the PPTs, I saw the important topics, I saw the points in them. And I went to Harrison's and saw those paragraphs or those sections and then uh, made the important points out of them. Sir. Important points. So, uh, how many questions did you attend? I attempted all, sir. 150. All 150 out of 150. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. So, what will be your message and what do you want to uh, tell and convey to the students who are aspiring uh, for DM superficiality? Sir, so, so basically, uh, the paper was majority based on Harrison's. I would say 80% to 85% were from Harrison's directly or some sort of uh, the clinical were derived from them. Uh, although the questions were morely, mostly flat factual, uh, but the majority of the questions, 100, 210, 120, I would say were very easily gettable for okay. one who had read even once. So they were not so difficult to get. But the difference was in the last uh, 20, 30 questions, which were a bit unexpected or unpredictable pattern of some genetics questions and some syndromes questions, like neat PG questions which were there in those papers. So that was some unexpected thing. But I think the base was, if you get those 120 questions right, uh, the bit set, that sets up the base for your preparation. If you get the easy ones wrong, that's where you start using your ranks. So I would suggest you be, go through the basics first. Try to send in your core concepts and majoritarily revise Harrison's if you can. And then if you have done that, then you can go towards the unexplored part. So I mean, uh, your preparation was based out of uh, uh, 20th, or you switched on to 21st because uh, that so uh, transformation was for this exam. Of course, for the next exam, it's going to be only for 21st. Were there any difference? Uh, there was some difference. Sir. I had actually read 20th edition recently because of my MD exit exam. And uh, this 21st edition came out recently. So I had it was uh, definitely important to go through the updates in them. So I saw those uh, speed PPTs. They had highlighted the important updates also in those things, in those uh, PPTs and updates. So I have saw those and went back to Harrison's to see what updates, especially in the treatment part, the newer drugs, 
and all i found that there were many 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 updates in those things sir so updates uh, matter for this exam uh i would say not that much as such but for this exam but i think in the upcoming exam they might focus on them focus on that yeah. okay so where this 150 questions are well within the preview of uh, harrison only uh, i would say 80% sir uh, some of them were obvious yeah, sir 80%. so 80% can be uh, comfortably attended with harrison only yes, yes, and 20% you feel that it would be from specialities from uh, specialty level books yeah said so, so somewhere from medical genetics so i would not say specialty also but uh, they were based on some ug knowledge also mm. so, like robert sunian translocation all they had asked like some somewhere some basic concepts of uh, pre clinical subjects also so so uh, where this jump in uh, only in genetics or some other uh, few or few other specialties were also there the of 20% uh, sir, of questions which are out of harrison so some questions like uh, so an unexpected questions were from endocrinology section sir like we expect questions from the majority of the uh, endocrine organs like thyroid or pituitary or adrenal but i would not see many questions from them they were focusing on uh, reproductive endocrinology and contraception and such questions which we tend to not give so much weightage on so that was one thing rest i think cardiology and neurology was based on harrison's not that much out of the book so genetics endocrinology and uh, what about hematology or oncology were there uh, only uh, some questions yes, sir there were uh, one two questions which i would say were outside harrison's like the ribinet staging there was one question which harrison had not given that in detail but they had asked in detail also i would say one uh, gastroenterology question there were a few questions one or two but not that much sir which were out of the purview of harrison sir but so, i think hmm. more you focus on the majority if you have less time basically so you should be focusing more on the things that everyone will get right that you should not get wrong okay yeah so that will pull out uh, the chances of being in the competition yeah if you get the hard ones right but if you lose out on the easy ones then it is it, you, it will put you in trouble sir great so uh, so when you attend the paper itself you are comfortable with more than almost to the 80% and 20% of the risk how did you take I mean now to go of 150 uh, so 150 it was based on hunches and sir long term memory some neat uh, some pre clinical memory which i had of the neat pg pattern sir so that was that's what i was not so comfortable after just give, submitting the exam i was not sure how much i will get in those last 30 questions and that mattered actually and i i got some of them right so that made the difference so i mean you the chance that you took for this 30 questions or 20% of question has made the difference to give this rank yes sir basically it was statistics sir i whenever i could eliminate one option i would go for it sir because the stats would be in my favor so i went for all the questions sir because i could eliminate one option in each of them so you are pre determined even before the exams to shoot 150 out of 150 or are seeing the paper you you felt okay this is how my strategy has to be uh, so yes sir it was like if i had no a clue at all or if i could not eliminate anything or there was a question like any full numerical question which i would not I'm not aware of i would not have attempted it but there was not such a question i would i had some knowledge some or the other thing i had known about the question so i attempted everything so after finishing your exam uh, were you uh, with a very uh, comfortable notion that will be a good rank and uh, may not no good no rank. sir no i actually i had no idea sir actually i didn't even go back to see any recall videos i was like i would not want to go into that thing so, so don't want to go back and see what uh, what your answer which was right and wrong you didn't go to that no, sir, not at all sir just you waited for your results Yes, sir. So after the results, it was rank number one. So uh, yes. was it? Yes, I was in this disbelief actually uh, for some time. I had to send it to some other colleagues and friends to confirm it once. Is it somebody, somebody told you, or you yourself? Uh, I mean, uh, logged I in. saw it first, sir. But uh. then I had to send it to some other people as well to confirm cross check it. Okay. So, so I think it's a very happy time and a great time. Uh, I mean, right now. I mean, what what was your experience in NEET PG? I mean, previously, I mean, was there I mean, were there a similar score in uh, for you in your uh, PG preparation? Uh, sir, I had uh, all India rank of twelve, sir, at that time. So, uh, rank number one uh, previously in uh, any of your uh, uh, I mean career so never. far in medicine? Never, sir, never, sir. Never so, I think this will give you a totally a different and I like mode of uh, I mean, yes, I mean, uh, conquering something because last year it was split and pieces because every exam was separate. so getting rank number 1 in cardiology or endocrinology or neurology is different but here everything is put in one 
uh, common uh, pull of uh, exam and a rank and scoring here is top most like another like a i mean uh, extended version of a neat pg that yes, yes. commonly you got rank number 1 among 15000 or 20000 students who appear for this exam yes. so i think uh, we wish you a great success ahead to be a great endocrinologist in years to come <laughs> thank you sir thank you so much and i wish you all the best and all the success on behalf of the entire speed team and the faculty team of speed and thanks for thank coming you. and thanks for joining us as well thank yes, you sir, thank you for giving me the opportunity thank you thank you sir.